G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab. And today in the lab, I've got Will Hall here, the Managing Director of SIG Energy for Australia and New Zealand. G'day, Will. Hello, Glenn. Good to see you. You too, mate. Um, look, you know, I, I first uh, came across SIG Energy at All Energy this year, and it just sort of blew the socks off me. Um, how did you come across SIG Energy? Um, well, they actually came across me. Ah. <laughs> so they, they reached out to me and... Um, I mean, it's a new company, so I hadn't actually heard of them. So um, did a bit of research, learned about the product. Probably most importantly for a new company, learned about the team and the experience behind it. And I was, yeah, very, very impressed. And uh, yeah, so it's a very, very in innovative product and uh, yeah, really exciting to be a part of it. Now, we're going to reveal why I got so excited and why you are now working for this company as the uh, Managing Director for Australia and New Zealand. Uh, we've got some slides here that you're going to run through, uh, but I, I should mention we've actually got a system here at the lab, which, um, thank you, Sig Energy, that's just great. And I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. Uh, look, uh, without uh, hand on my heart, without trying to pump the product, it was a fa fabulous installation experience. You know? yeah. So. That is a big tick from me. Real easy, really easy to install. Great features. It's actually running the aircon, uh, which we just turned off at the moment in this room. So yep. you know, I get real experience of these products before uh, you know I start kind of saying they're good. So yeah. it's coming from from real experience. Yeah. But anyway, let's just dive into Sig Energy. Um, let's explain the company to me. Yeah. So look, like I said, it's a fairly new company. Um, was established about eighteen months ago, and the uh, the CEO and founder is very, very experienced. So um, he was basically the president of uh, a very well-known inverter company, inverter manufacturer. Um, he was there for about 23 years and actually built their inverter division. And within five years, he actually got them to the number one inverter brand globally. So, right. you know, obviously uh, very experienced, knows what they're doing. Um, so what you're saying is, a new company, but but old hands. They've been at this for a long time. Absolutely, yeah. So, um, yeah, basically uh, about 18 months ago, then left, started SIG Energy. Um, I think the reason being is that he had some ideas for a, a truly innovative product that he wanted to do. And I think he thought that the best way to do that was to kind of set up his own foundations. And the team that he's built over the last 18 months, we, we've really got some fantastic experience there. So yeah, yeah really good. Now, you had a, a few explainers about the company. So um, this is Tony, so he's the founder. Tony Zhu, yep. Yep. And it's a, it, you know, it's only been around for, like you said, 18 months, but Tony's been in the industry for what, 22 years, 23 years? Um, yep. 24 years, actually, yeah. <laughs> exactly right. So, um, he, you know, he's not just, you know, from the inverter business. So after he left the inverter or the smart PV business, he went on to lead their artificial intelligence division. So, you know, you could probably define Tony and, and the people behind SIG Energy, not really as an inverter company, probably more so as a software company. Yeah. Um, so when he started the artificial intelligence division, within two years, he'd built it up to the biggest in China, basically. Yeah. So, you know, we've then taken that experience and that knowledge. And as you'll see on the next uh, few slides, that's been integrated into the product. So, you know, very smart, very intelligent, super, as you said, easy to install. So there's a lot of real, real good benefits about the product. I mean, AI is a bit of a buzzword. Uh, sometimes I feel like it's uh, the fairy dust people sprinkle on anything, but yeah. it's yeah. really there. I mean, it I know um, with the app, you've even got like you train, train chat GPT on, on, on the support app. Exactly <laughs> right. So it's the first, um, the first energy app to integrate AI chat GPT for into the app, which yeah. to be honest, when I first saw that, I was like, you know, sounds a little bit like it's a gimmick because yeah. everybody likes to talk about it these days. But when you see what you can actually do with it, it's it's incredible. You know, from an installation uh, installer's perspective and the homeowner's perspective, it's super, super useful. Yeah. And we can talk about that a little bit more. Cool. Show me more. So um, look, probably talk a little bit more about the team. So although they've only been going for around 18 months, they launched the product officially in June at Intersolar in Munich. Yep. Um, and within that short space of time, I mean, what they've achieved is, it's unbelievable to be quite honest with you. I can't get my head around it. <laughs> so they've already got over 500 staff. Um, more than 70% of those are focused on R&D. Um, and super, super experienced team. Um, so I've recently visited the, 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 
Shanghai facilities and met everybody and seen how they do it. And it's pretty groundbreaking, the, 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 the kind of like facilities that they've got and the equipment that they use to design everything. Um, and then I think probably another important thing to talk about, because obviously, um, you know, in our industry, there's been a lot of companies that's, you know, been and gone. Well, and um, yeah, <laughs> so a lot of installers and distributors and homeowners are quite um, conscious of a company, especially a new company's capabilities, experience, financial backing. So, I mean, it's probably worth mentioning a little bit about the finance of the company as well. The people that are financing it are the, the, the biggest private equity firms in the world. And the reason why they've been able to raise so much money in such a short space of time is, is because of Tony's reputation and the team that he's got. He obviously developed and you know maintained the, the number one global shipment for the biggest inverter brand in the world. So a lot of people are thinking, well, you know, you've done that for the inverter business, you did it for the AI business, you've now gone on to start a new company. There's no reason why he's not going to be able to do that again. So I'm very excited to be a part of it. And uh, yeah, very, very, very happy to be Just here. Just circling back to the team, uh, I mean, we get focused a lot on R&D, you know, the products is the key thing, but yep. it's it's the whole package too. For instance, my experience, um, the app was just A, beautiful to look at. I've seen some pretty poor looking apps out there. So beautiful, also very clever, like the interactivity with the components on the app. Yep. Um, the, the, uh, in, the installation, the quick start guide, it was just brilliantly designed. Um, yep. Yep. The little cardboard templates that came to make sure you put everything in the right place and there's a little bit of origami that you could fold yep. it to give the right spacing from the wall. It just shows a kind of like a level of detail that you don't expect in a new build, a new well, company. Exactly right. And I mean, the, the fact that they've achieved so much in a short space of time mm. and they have thought about all the little details. Look, yes, we're a new company, but it just shows the experience behind the team. Mm. They've done it all before and they've done it really well. So they've taken what they've built upon and they've, you know, obviously grown that knowledge and that capabilities to develop this product, which is, you know, I think it's probably the, one of the most innovative products out there. So, mm. yeah, mm. Okay. good to talk about it. Cool. Um, so I think I touched on it before, but uh, just to let people know uh, where these guys are based. So they've got their HQ and their factory in Shanghai. Um, so considering their fairly new production capacities, considerable. So they, they've already launched the product in the European markets and the American markets. So they're doing about four gigawatts of power production and two gigawatt hours of battery production at the minute. Obviously, you know, coming from a huge company, there's there's a lot of um, expectations to, you know, gain market share fairly quickly. So we need yeah. to make sure that the production capacity, capacity is there fairly soon. So all, all the things are in motion to, you know, to get there, really. Yeah. I mean, from my experience of visiting many Chinese companies, exponential growth is the norm when you've got a good product. It's Absolutely. Just, it's just unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, look, so <laughs> I've been in the industry for quite a while and I've yeah. worked for a few of the manufacturers and, you know, I've learned the hard way that it's almost like there's a blueprint you know you, you you have to have certain things in place uh, particularly in the Australian market when it comes to local support local stock you've just got to make it really easy for uh, the customers to use your product and buy the product um, but also you know from a operations perspective you know the manufacturing the testing the logistics the the components that are used so all that really has to be down pat and solidified so um, Prior to coming on board, I actually went out to Shanghai because I wanted to see for myself, you know, it looks great on paper, but are you guys the real deal? So I got to meet everybody, meet the team, went to the factory, saw the facilities, saw the testing. I actually had to do something similar to yourself and I had a little camera crew come around and I did a, an intro to all the testing that they do there. And, you know, even some of the equipment that they use at the factory, it's, I believe that they're the only ones using certain machines. So they've got a laser welder, which is typically used in um, electric vehicle manufacturing facilities. I'm not sure if any other inverter manufacturer has that product. So there's a huge amount of investment and planning gone into making sure every part of the, the business is set up right to, mm. to obviously produce a really fantastic product. Mm. So yeah, super impressed. Um, so then, I mean, I guess we'll talk about um, the, the, the story behind the product and the reason why it was developed. So, um, they have basically developed the, the the first five in one energy system, and I'll talk about what what's involved in that. But the reason they came up with it, they wanted something that was 
super simple, super smart, and really, really safe to use. And they've integrated so much into this product that is an industry first. It really is, a, you know, a lot of people use the, you know, buzzwords like game changer, innovative, but as you're gonna see, this, this truly is, because it does something, it does a lot of things that no one else has even thought about. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to talk about it today. After going to a conference like All Energy, people often, you know, pull me up and say, you know, what was the, the main exciting thing you saw? And I just said SIG Energy. And it's because of that, that kind of integration of all those services, uh, the five-in-one approach. Yep. This is not just another inverter. It's not just another battery. It's absolutely not a gimmick. You, yeah. know, the, the, you know, when you hear things like five-in-one and game-changing, and you look at it and you're really like, well, what are you doing different? You know, what are you yeah. doing to innovate and, you know, push the industry forward? Um, but you know, we'll have a look at it and you can see for yourself that really they have pushed the industry forward, which is great because it then forces all the other companies to improve and yeah. you know, try and catch up. And at the end of the day, that's great for the industry and great for the homeowner because it's, it's providing them with a better solution at the end of the day. Can you go back a slide? There's a, that picture of the inverter with the blue light coming out the side, or it's the inverters and batteries. Um, it's not a gimmick at all. It really is a light. And I love the fact that you can program it to be things like state of charge. Yep. Um, change color with charging and discharging. Um, it can even be a, just an entertainment little flickering light. It um, is, it is. Personally, I love the state of charge thing because that's that's something that most people are concerned about is, you know, how much is in the tank? Yep. And they don't want to have to get out, even if it's a nice app, get their phone out, click in, look, see what the state of charge is. They want to just look at their equipment and go, oh, look at that, it's full. Yeah, look, I mean, it's um, it, it is playful because you can obviously go into the app and you can change the color of the yeah. LED strip and you know and the make it jump yeah. around and stuff. But it does serve a purpose. It does represent the charge in your the garage or on the side of your house at night time. You know, yeah, it looks like someone's having a party and, and you can go in and you can just turn it off because you might annoy the neighbors. <laughs> you your party that. mode. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Keep going. Um, so look. What they have tried to address with the development of this product is, um, so obviously when it comes to energy storage systems, they can be quite complex and time consuming to install. So they've developed something that addresses that and really simplifies that process. So they've come up with a system which literally, I mean, you can talk about this because you've installed one. It literally takes around 15 minutes to put everything together. There's no cabling. So it's actually got floating terminals on every module. So you're literally just, it's like Lego, you're dropping it on top of each other. And then you go into the app and literally just do a system health check and it'll do a full analysis of the system and commission it. And if there's one element that hasn't been installed correctly, it will actually say, right, you've not done this right. You need to actually go back and do this. So there's no coming away and getting error messages and having to go back to site later. It will actually tell you there and then exactly what you've done wrong. And it takes less than five minutes. And there were little touches, like the fact that it came with handles that you could uh, clip on to lift the batteries. Yeah. I mean, they're, what are they, about 60 kilos, I think, from memory? But um, it's a two-person lift. It's a two-person job, I didn't have yeah. to go and buy them like some other companies. You've got to buy yeah. the handles. The handles came in the box. And yeah. they're just cleverly designed so that they're safe. They don't unlock once you put them on. Oh, they've thought, they've thought they've about th everything. There's even a little spirit level in the floor mount base to make sure it's, you know, yeah, as yeah. it should be. Yep, yep. So we did all that. And you're right, it, it took less than 15 minutes. Basically, mm. we went one, two. The longest part was taking it out of the box. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, well, that's it. the unboxing. But if you forget about that and actually putting it together, it's, it's yeah. you know, it's. I wouldn't say a child could do it because it's probably not advisable, but it really is that simple. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a, um, a Lego kind of concept, just pl yeah. plock it on top of each other. And the everything looks the same too. Like it's just a very um, streamlined design that the inverter and battery. And it looks great. The modules and you know from a, a a distributor's perspective, that's great because we use the same batteries across the single phase and the three phase. So you've got minimal inventory requirement, hold, inventory holding requirements. So um, it's a super super simple system. But at the same time, it's super smart. Yeah. So it's, we'll talk more about the battery when you get to it. Yeah. Um, that's a pretty special feature too, what you've done yes, there. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, so yeah, so we've addressed the complex installation element of most energy storage systems. And that's that's a cost saving. Huge cost saving. Yeah. And obviously, you know, we'll talk about the commercial side of things, but obviously the bigger you go, yeah. the more you're going to be saving on labor costs, installation costs, um, ancillary costs, because there's no cabling required. So it's, um, yeah, no, it's really good. Safety is another thing that's been massively um, looked at and addressed in this solution. So, um, I mean, we'll talk in a bit more detail, but obviously, you know, 
you've got risks of high voltage and all that kind of stuff. Thermal protection within the battery cells. So they've they've come up with something that basically just looks at all that and just right. We've got something that is never that's not going to be a problem. So you know, from a, a consumer's perspective, you know they're going to know that they've got a product that is is probably one of the most safest on the market, which is really good. Yes, yeah, so I was um, surprised that the batteries themselves internally are. Only like 30 volts or so, um, 280 amp hour um, cells. Yeah. But you have a DC DC converter on every battery module. Within every battery module, Why which then ramps it up to a uh, high voltage um, solution. It is basically because um, obviously it makes it safer to touch, uh, mm -hmm. it increases the efficiency, the life cycle, and the energy yield. Um, and I'll, I'll show you in a bit more detail how the so it reduces state of charge issues as well. So and I guess you don't get mismatch problems. Like if exactly, you have an old and new battery, they yep. they can work together. Yeah, so you can basically you know install one battery, decide you want to add more in the future. Literally, just come and plug it in. You've got no mismatch where the new battery has to deplete to the lowest charge of the battery that it's attaching to. Um, you know, if there's a warranty and one of the batteries dies the system will continue to operate minus that battery that's failed and then you can just come and put another one in and yeah that's uh, a clever way to do it which so these are still the pain points that you identify that you yes solved. yes so the mismatch yep yep um low system availability so that's where if you know typically if one of the batteries fails then it will shut because normally there's one DC optimizer yep. that covers the whole system. So if yep. one of them drops out, the whole system's gone, and obviously that's um, you know the customer's suffering because they're not saving money. So with ours, it will not affect the rest of the the, the battery packs within that system. Yeah. So looking at the, the picture on the screen here, this is a conventional series connected battery pack where you, if you have any failure or differences within the series string, you're going to suffer the consequences. But you're paralleled via the DC-DC converters. Yes. So not a problem. Not a problem whatsoever. Great. So look, I mean, in summary, what we've come up with is a fully integrated, super safe system that's got exceptional performance, ultra fast installation, and, and next level intelligence, which you know we'll talk about what that means. Um, and this is it. So Saigen Store is the world's first five-in-one energy system, as you can see, Looks great. It's already won the Red Dot Design Award and the International Design Excellence Award, oh. which, you know, they're some of the most prestigious design awards in the industry. And yeah, like I Red said, Dot. wow. This is, you know, all within <laughs> what eight months of launching the product. It's you know, I'm I'm super, super impressed with how much they've achieved in such a short space of time. Um and let's you know, let's just talk about what the five-in-one system includes. Yeah. Um, so it's an energy storage system which will give you the um, inverter, which we've got single phase and three phase. We're the first one to integrate a bi-directional DC EV charger into the system. Now, that's what really got me, the fact that yep. you've got a 20, 25? 25 kilowatts, kilowatt. yeah, and you can have that on a single phase or a three phase. A lot of people don't realize when they, they hear of the words EV charger, they think of the little wall mount ones, like there's a picture of a wall mount there, but that's the DC one, um, which are actually just an AC output. Yep. And it's the car that has the charger in it. So your car might have just a 7.4, yep. but you've got what you think is a 22 kilowatt on the wall but it's never going to do 22 it's only going to do what the car wants but with a dc charger yep you, you're actually getting 25 kilowatts yeah it's going straight into the car battery yep absolutely so and also it can draw that from you know uh directly from the panels into the into the car from the batteries from the grid so it's um yeah that's 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 an industry first from what I believe. So at the show, um, Sean, who's actually just out the back here, has explained to me that um, it combines all the DC sources yep. onto that DC bus to provide that 25 kilowatts. So you don't actually have to have a super powerful connection to the in your home. Yep. You don't need a you know a 100 amp connection to the grid. Yep. Because it can use all the sources, as, particularly if you've got plenty of solar. Yep. Yeah. So that's that's a really. And the other approach. thing is, obviously, with it being uh, DC, there's no um, conversion losses either from AC. So it's you know mm. it's, it's far more efficient. Um, so also below that, then we've got the battery packs. Um, we've also got the power control system and the energy management system built into it. 
Um, you can AC couple it, you can DC couple it, you can install it on grid, we can install it fully off grid. We've got a solution which will allow you to do full home backup. It's a true UPS system as well, so a zero millisecond switch over, so it means you can use it on you know, data centers or if you've got medical equipment in the house. There's no drop off whatsoever. So we've got everything covered and then combine that with the super fast installation. It's, um, you know, it's a system that pretty much ticks all the boxes and some boxes that people haven't really even thought about. So <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. Um, so just, you know, we'll talk a little bit about the, the different solutions that we um, are gonna launch. Uh, so the CC listing is underway at the minute. So we're um, gonna have everything ready for the single phase, which we do a five, six, eight, and 10 kilowatts. Uh, three phase we're going to have ready in February, which is going to be a 5, 10, 15 and 25 kilowatt inverter. Um, so we can do 200% oversizing on the AC to DC ratio. Um, oh, say it again, 200%. So if you've got you know a 5 kilowatt inverter, you can have 10 kilowatts of PV pumped into it. Yeah. Better explain this a bit for the Australian audience. That the Sometimes I call it the silly CEC rule, allowing only 133% oversizing only applies if you don't have a DC coupled battery. If you want, well, this is DC coupled, so there is only the manufacturer's recommendation applies. So having 200% is really good. I mean, of course you get rebates on solar panels in Australia. Sorry, New Zealand. Uh <laughs> exactly right. So exactly right. So it means you can put more panels on yeah. without having to get a bigger inverter. So you know it's better value for the customer. And having more 200% more PV than your inverter rating, does that mean it's going to um, not use all of that solar? So it's only use half of it because the inverter's only rated at say um, 10 kilowatts, but you've got 20 kilowatts of solar. Can mm. it do something with that extra solar, like charge the battery at the same time as invert power to the home? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So we can we can have it all set up. So I didn't phrase divert. that very well. Sorry, I clumsily phrased that. But <laughs> yes, the key thing is that you can actually um, charge a battery and invert at the same time. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Walk and chew gum. Yes, exactly right. Yeah, multitask. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, so with the DCV charger, so it is optional. You don't need to have that in the, the all-in-one system, but we do um, a couple of options. So we've got the 12 and a half and the 25 kilowatt uh, DC charger Are in there. Are these like add-ons you could sort of get them later on? Yeah, absolutely. Because we have got um, optimizers in each battery mm -hmm. so it is very modular and easy to come and attach something at a later date so you know if you want to just install one battery initially 12 months time you buy a you know a tesla you can come back and install the ev charger no problem really right. really quick and easy um so with the batteries so again this is something that's really cool we've actually got two different battery modules mm -hmm. so we've got a five kilowatt hour and an eight kilowatt hour which is it looks exactly the same same size uh, you can mix and match in the same system. So that means, you know, if you, you know, most systems can offer up to 10 or then you've got multiples of three or five. Um, yeah, so we can go up to 13. You can do a five with an eight, mix it right. together. No so you problems. can really, you know, trim down that storage to what, just what the customer exactly wants. Exactly what the customer needs. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, and then we can stack up to six batteries per inverter. So which gives you, you know, a maximum capacity of 48 kilowatt hours of storage. And then we can parallel an endless amount from what I'm told. So we've, <laughs> we've actually done one of the commercial systems in um, where there was 65 systems paralleled together Whoa. with about three and a half megawatt hours of storage. Whoa. So it's... Hang on. So you can go from five kilowatt hours to three and a half megawatt hours with the same batteries? With the same batteries, yeah. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Exactly right. Uh, even just having 48 kilowatt hours in one footprint is pretty incredible. Um, so it's a lot of energy density there. It is. And, and you know, for the eight kilowatt hour module, when you look at the size of it compared to a lot of us, others on the market, it is, you know, you're getting, getting a lot in there for, mm. for, for, for the size of the product. Mm. Um, and then this is just a quick slide on the, um, the, the the installation and the commissioning. So like I said, this you know kind of shows you, normally you have systems that are cabled up. Um, this one doesn't need to do that. So they've got floating terminals, which drop on top of each other. So power and data between batteries. Yeah, and yeah. I should probably just point out, this is IP66 rated as well. Oh, okay, wow. So it's, you know, it's like I said, it's been very well designed. Then when it comes to the commissioning, which can be done in less than five minutes, so that it does auto networking and then you just literally go into the app and it does a full system check. And you know it'll tell you whether you've um, done all the wiring correctly. If not, it'll point it out and say, you need to go back and do that before you can commission it. Um, and un under five minutes, you're done. Yep. 
Yeah. So pretty so, cool. So the app has like two logins. And there's an installer login and an yeah. end user login. So end user login, which will obviously, you know, we can. I'll show you a few slides on that after, which gives them all the information they they need. They've got access to ChatGPT four to, um, you know, basically manage their energy usage in a really intelligent way. Um, from a, an installer's perspective, um, having ChatGPT four is going to be really really beneficial because. I know firsthand that one of the things that a lot of installers really don't like is when they're on site, there's an issue, they try and ring tech support, they can't get through for a long time, or they finally get through and the the, the, the problem can't be resolved straight away. So a lot of the time they're on site for hours or they have to come back the next day, you know, time is money for the installers. So if they're on site with our system, there's a problem. They don't need to call tech support. They'll go into chat GPT, they'll basically just mention what the problem is, ChatGPT will basically give them a response on how to fix it instantly on the spot. So we've programmed in, into the back end most of the common issues that we're aware of off the top of our head, which is pretty substantial because we've obviously got a team that's been in the industry for a very long time. But because um, you know the AI has got machine learning, so if there's a really complex issue, it only needs to happen once and then the system will remember it. So if it ever happens again, it's so the more that the, the product gets installed, the more it's going to be able to help people because it's learning more as it goes. So that's that's going to eradicate the need to call tech support by a huge amount, which, you know, I know that's going to be a big thing to the installers. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's For me, it's a pretty normal experience because so many systems here, the first time we've installed them, and it's we get to the last step and got the app out and uh, something's not right, and then, you, like you say, you're on the phone. Yep sometimes for a long time. Yeah. And it's yep. 4.30 and everyone wants to go home. Yeah, exactly right. Or you're in you're in WA and you're trying to ring tech support in New South Wales and <laughs> yeah. it's four o'clock in the afternoon, they're finished. So <laughs> long ago. <laughs> yeah, you, you're not going to get much luck there. Yeah, yeah. But in saying that, it's probably worth also mentioning that, um, you know, it is a super, super uh, simple system to install. We have tried to make it simple for the reason of eliminating user error and eliminate, eliminating potential issues. So yep. really, we're expecting that there's not going to be too much problematic stuff where they do need to use it. But if they do, it's there, yep. and it's going to be way more quick than actually calling tech support. Yeah. But additional to that, prior to being able to commission a system, the installer actually has to go on our website and do a quick installation and certification course, yep. which will basically show them that we've got a really good video that shows you exactly how to install the system. And then you just have to answer a few questions and then it gives you a code which you need to be able to enter to commission it. So you don't have an acronym like RTFM that you repeat every time someone rings no. up who hasn't read the manual? No? <laughs> no, absolutely not, mate. So it's, um, yeah, so we've thought of all those typical pain points. That yeah, yeah. In, like I said before, you know, the whole, th it, you can have a great product, but if the user experience from an installation perspective is cumbersome or clunky, yep. there's a good chance that they might not use your product again, especially if it's a new product. You know, Their first experience is super, super important. Yep. So we've tried to make it seamless and super simple. Great. So now we'll start to talk a little bit about the safety aspect of, of what we've developed, because this is a huge thing. So. We're the first ones to use 280 amp power battery cells, which, as you said, are 32.85 volts, which are safe to touch. Um, you do get a longer life cycle and a higher energy density out of that. So there's benefits in regards to the type of cells we've used. Uh, also, we've got something called um, Sigen Shield, which is the five layer battery protection. So within each battery that we've got, we've got five different safety elements built into it. So the first one, we've got um, seven temperature sensors in each battery, which are monitored by AI. So you can actually go into the app and m monitor the temperature of each battery cell in real time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's the first level. Um, then we have aerogel insulated pads between each cell, which basically reduces the, the heat transfer between cells and then you know, reduces the overall operating temperature within, uh, within inside. Um, if hot gases do build up, when, when the heat rises, you know, if it gets past that level, yep. we've actually got a decompression valve, which will open up and it will expel that gas, which will then cool things down. Um, we've got high temperature resistance insulated pads uh, on the inner pack wall between the cells and the, the inverter casing. 
And then the last level of defense, if you know it gets to that stage, which I'm pretty sure it's, it's not gonna get to that stage, each battery actually has a, um, a fire extinguisher built into it. A napper first. Wow. Yep. So, I've only ever seen that on CNI systems, and you know these are hundred thousand dollar batteries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, you know, I think with you know some of the things that have happened in the press over the last couple of years, where I think more and more consumers are mindful of the fact they they know what a battery is, they know that there's potential risks. Obviously, we want to say, look, this is super safe. You don't need to worry about it. You know, we're giving you a system that's going to give you the confidence that it's just going to continue to work. And if something goes wrong, we've got lots of lots of stuff built into it that's going to prevent it from being a problem. Yeah. Um, apologies, a little bit of a sound of a digger outside, but um, we'll, we'll press on. He's just doing a little bit of work here for a project that I'll be showing you very soon. Um, yeah, okay, keep going. Um, okay, and then from a system level protection, um, we've got DC ground fault protection, PV disconnection protection, grid fault protection, and DC bus protection built into the system as well. So they've they've thought of everything. You know, mm -hmm. This is super, super safe. And then this is just a little bit more information on the, uh, the batteries that we use, like we said before. So typically, um, a lot of other battery or systems uh, have one optimizer that controls everything. So you do have state of charge issues. So if one of those batteries fails and you need to replace it, so that new battery's got 100% charge, that will actually need to reduce to the lowest level of charge within one of the older batteries. Because we optimize on a, um, a cell level, so each battery cell's got uh, an optimizer built into it. Yes. So you can add a battery at any point, or if you've got a warranty, you can replace it at any point. That will stay at 100% charge, and they all operate independently. So that's a big difference, which normally in a parallel battery system, you have to have them at the same voltage. Yep. Otherwise, they trip out each other. Mm. But the, because of the battery optimizer, they yep. can be at all different voltages and states of charge, and they all work together. Yep. Okay. And, and we can use, you know, eight kilowatt hour battery modules with yeah. five kilowatt hour battery, battery modules, so super flexible. Yeah. So some of the things to talk about with the, uh, the DC fast charging. Um, so just to give people an idea of what that means in regards to, you know, charging my car. Yep. So just with one hour, you could charge around 130 kilometers of range on your vehicle, which is, you know, pretty good. But second to that, we have actually already got uh, V2X ready built into the system. So wow. what that means is, uh, so vehicle to grid basically allows you to use the battery on your car as another battery to power your house rather than drawing from the grid. Um, and vehicle to grid will allow you to do things like peak shaving and VPP dispatch. So wow, if so this is built into the, the product already? Yeah, 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 yeah already Because I know go. there are a few other products for, say, for Chetima at the moment, they're like $10,000 yep. just for the V2G function. Yep, yep. so we've got it wow. all built in. It's, you know, obviously um, there's only South Australia where you can do this at the minute, but mm. the other states will allow this pretty soon. So, you know, we're ready for it. But like I said, the, the one of the words that, you know, is very apparent with what SIG Energy have done is innovative. Mm. You know, they're doing stuff from the get-go. You know, they're going to be driving this side of the market. We better calm the audience down. You can't do it yet. Is that, is that what you're saying? South Australia, yes. Yes. Other states will follow suit over the next few right. months. Right, okay. Yep. And Vita it's... X, by the way, meaning lots of things. So yep. grid, home, load, you name it. Absolutely, yep. yeah, yeah. So, um, it's and this is going to be a huge benefit for the customer mm. as well. So, we we thought it was essential to put it in there because it's only a matter of time before you know everybody's going to be asking for it. Ah, oh, I'm just amazed you've done that. Yep. Okay, let's just save ten thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of our other products. It's called the Sijin Gateway. Yep. So what this allows for is the ability to offer full home backup. So not only do we do full home backup, we can offer a, a switch over time of zero milliseconds. So it's a true UPS um, system basically. And that basically means that a lot of other systems, there's a slight delay between, you know, when it goes, uh, cuts off from the grid. Yes. It needs to think about it and then it will switch over to the batteries or, you know, the generator, whatever it is that you've got connected. So with ours, it's zero milliseconds. So we've got a patented software that allows us to do that. Right, that's that's impressive because yeah, virtually every so-called UPS system has a break. 
Yep. So that allows this system to be used on things like data centers that have got servers. You know, if you've got medical device equipment in your house, which cannot be disconnected from the grid for any peer, small period, yep. this 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 will actually work with those um, situations. I'm liking it. I've got these network attached storage devices and there's, there's a tiniest power flick, they all reset and it takes them ages to to, to you know, come yeah. back online. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so there's a couple of versions of this. So we do it for the single phase and three phase. Yep. Um, we've got the home version, which will basically, um, you know, give you the ability to do full home backup, and that will cover one system or one inverter. So yep. the one I've got here has got like 125 amp capability. Yes. So that's the home one. I think you've got the, have you got the one with the generator input? Yes. That's the Home Max. Wow. So the Home Max is, like I said, does have a generator input as well. So if you want, you know, if you're doing a fully off grid system and you want to have a generator to be able to kick in, yep. that's the version. Or you for can you. have grid with generator backup for, yep. for very long, you know, like you've just had a cyclone go through your town yep. and all the, all the poles and wires are down for several weeks. That's, that's the right. system for you, yeah. Wow. Uh, and that will also allow you to, that will actually cover up to three systems as well. Yep, yep. Um, so another thing that we've got is 100% output power in off-grid mode. So we actually have a three-phase four-wire design, which also has an additional neutral wire coming in. Um, so a lot of other systems don't have that neutral wire. So, um, you know, they might have up to 33% of their output power backed up. Yeah, so it's true three phase, so it can run three phase motors. Yep. Yeah, right. Cool. Um, separate AC charger for EV electric vehicles. Uh, we do a seven kilowatt, an 11 kilowatt, and a 22 kilowatt. Super quick and easy to install. Um, so we've kind of got, you know, if somebody doesn't want to do one in an all in one system and they're just doing you know, a separate system, we can put that in there as well. And then for a customer that wants to install one of our products but is not ready for batteries or not sure if they want to install batteries, we have a battery ready inverter. So it's essentially a hybrid inverter, but you know, if they want to, they're typically quite a bit more expensive than a grid tie inverter. So we'll charge them, you know, for a grid tie inverter. If they want to add batteries in the future, they can basically just pay a fee to upgrade it and then it's battery ready. They can connect the batteries to it. Right. So long as you just plan to have space for where the batteries are gonna go. Yeah. Install um, it in a place where you can add on to it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Battery ready. I think that's the, that should be every inverter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sim, so it's the same inverter that we use in the all-in-one system. Yes. So it's just a software thing. Um, but we've got single phase 5, 6, 8, and 10, three phase 5, 10, 15, 25. We're developing a 29.9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the 25 kilowatt three phase is the same size as a 5 kilowatt single phase. Yeah. So Incredible. It's, it's Incredible. clever how they've designed it, for yeah. sure. And then with the app, um, so this is um, a, you know, a really, really good app to use from a couple of perspectives. So first of all, I think the biggest thing with it is the fact that it's the first one to integrate ChatGPT4. So we talked about that before, you know, from a customer or a homeowner's perspective, you know, they can ask ChatGPT to show them a graph on how much energy was generated on a particular day, or you know, you can ask it to charge your car at a particular time, and it'll basically just seamlessly get oh, everything set so, up. Oh, so the end user can use ChatGPT? Absolutely. Yeah. Wow, I thought it was just for the installer to fault find. So you know, it's um, it's all about user experience. So it's, yeah. you know, it simplifies the, the the use of the app, but it also gives them a lot more um, options to basically interact with their system yes. and get the most out of it. And then obviously from an installer's perspective, that's gonna be a huge time saver in regards to tech support that's built into it. Yep. Um, so real-time monitoring. So the data refreshes 10 seconds, which means it's a lot more accurate in regards to the, the information it's presenting. Um, we've got the ability to do a one-click system health check. So you can just say, right, what's going on with my system? And if there's any errors, it will actually specifically list them down and tell you what you need to do to fix it. It will then directly give you the ability to be put in touch with a service agent. It's all through the app. Uh, it links you to the website, to informational videos on YouTube. It's It's got everything built into it. It's uh, it's great. And then you've obviously got the ability to play with the lights and do all that kind of fun <laughs> stuff. So um, 
yeah, I think uh, once people have a play around with it, um, it's it's going to be apparent that this is this offers so much more. Yeah, it yeah. really does. I think you've nailed it with the app too. It's it's got that right balance of information and simplicity. Yeah. So because um, the end user is not usually an engineer, <laughs> a lot of apps are designed by engineers for engineers. <laughs> exactly right. So it's super simple yeah. and it looks good. Mm. You know, and it gives the customer. All the information they need, yep. you know, that's, you know, keep it simple. I love the dark mode too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can have it in light mode, dark mode. Yep. But the um, from an installer account, so they can actually manage their fleet. So they can have... Um, wow, fleet management in the app. Yeah, different systems set up, which gives them visibility of everything they've installed. So from an O&M perspective, um, it's really simple to basically manage everything and keep an eye on what's performing and what needs a, l a little bit of attention. Um, so yeah, it's covered everything. Great, cool. And then the next thing that you know, some customers might already be aware of. If not, it's something that's going to continue being talked about and generating input uh, interest. Is um, the VPP aspect? So we've got the ability to fully open up our API, integrate with a lot of the VPP providers. Um, you know, we're talking to um, Evergen at the minute, so that's that's going to be ready by the time we launch the product. And then we'll be talking and integrating with a lot of the other VPP providers as well. Yeah, I better explain the acronym. I'm, a, I'm an acronym expander sort of person. Yep. So VPP, Virtual Power Plant, is where um, you can aggregate lots of small systems together and control them. So why would you do that? Well, uh, because Australia now has one third of every house has uh, solar on board and soon uh, an awful lot of batteries, being able to control them uh, can help keep the grid, grid stable. But it also is good for customers because it means they're unlikely to be limited uh, to such a small system because when you've got too much solar, the only thing that uh, um, the DNSPs can do is just say, no, you can't put in a 10 kilowatt system, you only put in a five. But with VPP, they could let you put in a 10, but they can control it. And you can get some revenue from that because if you've got storage, yep. you're an asset to them. Absolutely, yeah. So it's um, potentially the customer could make a fair bit of money out of this. Yeah, so VPP equals make more money off your solar battery system. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so look, so in summary, we've got uh, industry's first five-in-one energy storage system. We've got an integrated DC EV fast charger, bi-directional. Um, we're the first ones to integrate uh, ChatGPT4, which you know opens up a whole different element of functionality. We've got uh, five layers of battery safety protection, which is you know next level. We've got the bi-directional charging on the, um, the EV charger, zero millisecond load side disruption on the switchover times. You know, first ones to use 280 amp hour uh, battery cells, so super safe, super efficient. And then the installation aspect, you know, it's super quick to install and commission. So. Amazing, and also the scalability of this this one product. Um, I mean, just from personal experience, here we installed uh, two eight kilowatt hour batteries and a five kilowatt uh, inverter. The next project that I started to look at was half a megawatt hour of storage using the yep. same product. Absolutely, <laughs> so it's, uh, the, it's it's limitless what you can do with it, it really yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, you know, if we have a look at the commercial aspects of it now, the bigger you go, the more benefit you're going to get because it is so much quicker and easier to install and commission than typical, you know, CNI solutions. Mm. There's a huge cost saving on the labor component, um, the ancillary cost saving. There's no cabling required, which you know is a huge cost when you go for these big systems. Typically, uh, because it is so flexible, you can build up to the specific energy storage re requirement what the customer needs. A lot of other systems for commercial and industrial applications, you know, you might have a 200 kilowatt hour battery and you only want 250 kilowatt hours of storage. So you're going to have to step up and have a lot of stuff that you, storage that you're not actually going to be using, which is a waste of you know money basically. So you can separately size storage and an inverter power yep. to suit the application. Yep. It's AC coupled, so you don't have massive DC buses. Yep. Right. So if everything's just standard AC. Absolutely. Um, yep. So um, no gateways required. You I, know. IP66. So this whole thing can go outside. Yeah. It's down the side of the building. Twenty. Stacks of 48 kilowatt hour units. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Or 65 if, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if you're feeling keen. That's, that's the biggest one we've done at this stage. Wow. But um, yeah, look, the, the, the options are limitless, really. Yeah. Okay, so easy installation. <laughs> Super easy installation. The other benefit is, you know, if it's going on a roof on a commercial property, a lot of the time, you know, you need to bring a crane in, which is a huge cost. 
it's a two-man install really for this system because it's so light. So that's another aspect that is going to save a lot of money. Um, so, you know, big capex savings, you know, you've got the flexibility on the storage capacity, fast installation commissioning, much smaller footprint, footprint required, cable and labor saving, no data loggers required. You got your OPEX saving. Uh, so you've got this super safe batteries. You've got the one click system diagnosis, IP66 rated. So, you know, you're gonna have reduced O&M costs ongoing. Uh, mixed use of new and old batteries, which is essentially gonna to lead to higher yields of your system. So, you know, you've got much more uh, flexibility because of the, the um, modular parallel um, system installation capability. You're gonna have more MPPTs. Um, you've got battery pack level optimization, zero millisecond load side disruption, and then you've got AI built into it, which is really gonna um, provide, you know, better savings at the end of the day. Wow. <laughs> So yeah, there's there's a lot going for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, um, as I said when we started, I was excited when I just heard about the product at All Energy. Uh, I was excited when we installed it here, and just uh, seeing how much I can scale this product, I can see it being used everywhere. Um, it's like a one solution with all these modules. Well, do you know what? We are, I was having a conversation with the guys. Um, so we've been in Melbourne this week, meeting some some big customers, and. Um, this was originally designed as a, a, a residential yeah. solution, but really, it's it's perfect for CNI. Mm. You know, it really is. And and meeting some of the customers this week has created some big opportunities for mm. applications that we we thought about, but we didn't realise how much it's it's really suitable for that that particular market. So, mm. um, yeah, lots uh, lots of stuff happening already. Great. Well, it's been great talking to you, Will. Yeah. And. Uh, Looking forward to having some more fun with uh, the SciGen store over here. Absolutely, mate. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Cool. Thanks, Glenn.